In our vast world, there are amazing structures and monuments that show the brilliance and creativity of human civilization. These special creations are called the Seven Wonders of the World. In this video, we will go on a fun adventure to learn about each of these wonders. Come join us on this exciting journey through time and space where we will discover these wonders that make people feel amazed and inspired all over the world. The number seven likely held symbolic significance in ancient cultures, as it was associated with harmony and perfection. This may have influenced the selection of precisely seven wonders. The earliest known list of the seven wonders was created by the Greek historian Herodotus in the 5th century BC. His list included the Great Pyramid of Giza, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, the Statue of Zeus at Olympia, the Temple of Artemis at Ephesus, the Mausoleum at Halicarnassus, the Colossus of Rhodes, and the Lighthouse of Alexandria. While these constructions are stunning achievements of ancient engineering, they don't include marvels from many of the ancient civilizations of Africa, Europe, Asia, and the Americas, which were unknown to the Hellenic peoples. Over time, the new Seven Wonders Foundation conducted a global campaign from 2000 to 2007, inviting people worldwide to vote for their favorite sites. Over 100 million votes were cast, leading to the selection of seven remarkable wonders. First on our list is the Great Wall of China. It is one of the world's most renowned architectural wonders, stretching over 13,000 miles or 21,196 kilometers and traverses across northern China. The construction of it began as early as the 7th century BC, with various walls built by different Chinese states. The most well-known and extensive construction took place during the Ming Dynasty, 1368 to 1644 AD. Emperors ordered the wall's expansion and fortification to protect against invasions from nomadic tribes, particularly the Mongols. Its primary purpose was for defense. It serves as a barrier that protects the Chinese Empire from military incursions, raids, and invasions from the north. Additionally, it regulated trade and migration, functioning as a border control system. Today, the Great Wall of China is a major tourist attraction, drawing millions of visitors annually. Certain sections of the wall, such as Bedailing and Mutianyu, have been restored and developed for tourism. However, other parts of the wall have suffered from weathering, erosion, and human activities. The next one is Petra. Petra is an ancient city located in Jordan. It was the capital city of Nabataean Kingdom, a prosperous civilization that thrived from the 4th century BC to the 1st century AD. The Nabataeans were skilled traders and controlled vital trade routes, becoming a significant crossroads for the silk, spice, and incense trade between Arabia, Egypt, and the Mediterranean region. What sets Petra apart is its unique rock-cut architecture. The most famous structure is al Khazne or the Treasury an ornate temple facade carved into the rock face that serves as an iconic symbol of Petra. Due to its strategic location, Petra prospered as a trading hub, allowing for cultural exchange in the integration of diverse architectural influences. But after the decline of the Nabataean Kingdom, Petra gradually lost its importance and was eventually abandoned and forgotten by the Western world. It was rediscovered by Swiss explorer Johann Ludwig Burckhardt in 1812, capturing the imaginations of travelers and scholars worldwide. Now, Petra is one of the most visited tourist destinations in the Middle East, attracting travelers from around the globe. Conservation efforts are ongoing to preserve and protect the fragile rock-cut structures and archaeological sites. 
Next is Christ the Redeemer. It is an iconic statue located in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It is known as Cristo Redentor in Portuguese and is a symbol of Christianity and a representation of peace and welcoming arms. It stands atop the Corcovado Mountain, overlooking the vibrant city of Rio de Janeiro and its famous beaches. The statue was designed by Brazilian engineer Heitor da Silva Costa and sculpted by French sculptor Paul Landowski. Its construction began in 1922 and was completed in 1931. The statue is made of reinforced concrete and soapstone and stands at a height of approximately 98 feet or 30 meters, with its arms stretching 92 feet or 28 meters wide. It attracts millions of visitors each year, both locals and tourists from around the world. It has become an iconic symbol of Brazil and a must-visit destination for those exploring Rio de Janeiro. Throughout the years, the statue has undergone several restoration projects to maintain its structural integrity and appearance. Advanced techniques and technologies have been employed to combat weathering and natural erosion caused by the surrounding environment. Our next wonder is Machu Picchu, which is an ancient Incan city located in the Andes Mountains of Peru. It is believed to have been a significant center of the Inca Empire, which was one of the most remarkable civilizations in the Americas. Machu Picchu was built around the 15th century but remained relatively unknown to the outside world until its rediscovery in 1911 by American explorer Hiram Bingham. He stumbled upon the ruins while searching for the lost city of Vilcabamba. It is situated on a mountain ridge at an altitude of approximately 7,970 feet or 2,430 meters above sea level. Its location offers stunning panoramic views of the surrounding mountains in the Urubamba River Valley. The city's architectural design is awe-inspiring. The Incas skillfully integrated Machu Picchu into the natural landscape, utilizing terraces, stone walls, and drainage systems. The site consists of temples, residences, agricultural terraces, and other structures showcasing the advanced construction techniques of the Inca civilization. Now it attracts millions of visitors each year and is one of the most visited tourist destinations in South America. Preservation efforts are in place to protect the site from the impact of tourism and environmental factors. Strict regulations and limits on visitor numbers have been implemented to ensure its long-term conservation. Next on our list is Chichen Itza an archaeological site located in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. It was a major pre-Columbian city of the Maya civilization, reaching its peak between the 9th and 12th centuries AD. It played a significant role as a religious, political, and economic center in the region. The most famous structure is El Castillo, also known as the Temple of Cocolton step pyramid that served as a ceremonial center and is an iconic symbol of Chichen Itza. It also has a natural sinkhole called the Sacred Cenote, which was a site of important rituals and offerings. It is believed that various artifacts and even human sacrifices were thrown into the cenote as an offering to the gods. Chichen Itza is one of the most visited archaeological sites in Mexico attracting tourists from around the world. Conservation efforts are ongoing to preserve the structures and artworks, and access to some areas may be restricted to protect the site's integrity. Second to the last is the Colosseum, also known as the Flavian Amphitheater, and an iconic ancient Roman structure located in the heart of Rome, Italy. The construction of the Colosseum began in 70 to 72 AD, under the Emperor Vespasian and was completed in 80 AD under his successor Titus. 
The massive amphitheater was built to host various spectacles, including gladiatorial contests, animal hunts, and public spectacles. It has immense historical significance as a symbol of ancient Rome's cultural and architectural achievements. It is designed in the shape of an elliptical amphitheater. It is made of stone and concrete, with a perimeter of approximately 615 feet or 187 meters and a height of around 157 feet or 48 meters. It had a seating capacity estimated to range from 50,000 to 80,000 spectators. With the decline of the Roman Empire, the Colosseum fell into disuse and was damaged by natural disasters, fires, and looting. Nevertheless, efforts were made to preserve and restore the monument over the centuries, starting in the 18th century. Today, visitors can explore the Colosseum, admire its architectural splendor, and learn about the gladiatorial contests and events that took place within its walls. Guided tours provide insights into its history, significance, and the lives of the people who participated or attended the spectacles. Last but not the least, the iconic mausoleum located in Agra, India, Taj Mahal. It was commissioned by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan in the 17th century as a monument to his beloved wife, Mumtaz Mahal. Construction of the Taj Mahal began in 1632 and took approximately 22 years to complete, with a team of architects, artisans, and workers from various parts of the Mughal Empire and beyond. The Taj Mahal holds a profound symbolism as a symbol of love and devotion. It was built by Shah Jahan as a tribute to his beloved wife, Mumtaz Mahal, who passed away during childbirth. The mausoleum represents the emperor's eternal love and serves as her final resting place. The main mausoleum houses the tombs of Shah Jahan and Mumtaz Mahal in a serene chamber adorned with delicate marble screens and inlaid decorations. The surrounding gardens of the Taj Mahal are known as the Sharbag, representing a traditional Persian-style garden divided into four quadrants by water channels. The gardens are meticulously laid out with symmetrical pathways, fountains, and lush greenery, creating a serene and harmonious ambiance. The Taj Mahal is a major tourist attraction, drawing millions of visitors each year. Conservation and restoration efforts are continually undertaken to preserve the integrity of the monument and protect it from environmental factors, pollution, and the impact of tourism. The idea of the seven wonders of the world has contributed to promoting cultural awareness, tourism, and global appreciation for the world's most incredible sites. Whether ancient or modern, the concept of the seven wonders of the world continues to captivate our imagination and serves as a reminder of the extraordinary feats accomplished by human hands. And there you have it, the seven wonders of the world. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey. Until next time, keep exploring and embracing the wonders of the world with Geography Hub.